Welcome back. Time to keep it real with Drew's reviews for fall movies and also what's playing in theaters this holiday weekend. Film critic Drew Monyo is here with a look at some of the movies people are talking about or about to be talking about. So hey Drew. Good to see yeah. you. Good and we have a good too. list here. Yes, we do. This is a this is a great list. Yep. And the first one is something I had not heard of. Gold the gold The Goldfish, yeah. yeah. This opens on September 13th. Uh, it's based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel that spent 30 weeks on the New York, New York Times bestseller wow. list. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a solid story. Uh, the title refers to a painting that was made in 1654. Uh, the movie is about a 13-year-old New York City boy who is adopted by a wealthy Upper East Side family after his mother is uh, killed in a terrorist bombing in a New York art gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole Kidman and uh, Sarah Paulson uh, co-star in this one. And uh, this could be big. I mean, the story is so popular. This could be uh, right. a big movie. What movie is Nicole Kidman not in? Yeah. <laughs> These days, yeah. <laughs> That's She's amazing. all over the place. Or, or something called The Hustlers. Hustlers, yes, with uh, Constance Wu, mm. Jennifer Lopez, Cardi B, Lizzo. Oh. Uh, oh. This, this was inspired by a, uh, an article in New York Magazine. It's about former strip club employees who turn the tables on their Wall Street clients, okay? <laughs> it involves drugging them, robbing them. It's a family them. tale. You've seen all this in the oh trailers. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez... Uh, I had to study pole dancing for this one, so a lot of eye candy here. This could be a lot of fun. It really could be a lot of fun. She's literally really defying reality. She like looks younger oh, every yes. time I see How her. How is that How do you possible? Do that? I don't Explain know. that yes. to us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd be doing it. <laughs> but then to switch gears, we have Downton Abbey, yeah, which is really we what both I, want to yeah, know about. yeah, we're so you're both about excited this. about. Oh this. yes. Oh, so you're fans of the mm -hmm. series. Love ran for the series. Six seasons wow. in the BBC television. Um, this one is uh, the story. Did you know what's about this one? Yes, and there's no pole dancing. In this <laughs> no pole dancing. Did they bring <laughs> Matthew back? I want them to bring Matthew oh, back. Oh God! Well, I can't Let tell it you go. this. This is about the, the king and queen coming to visit Downton Abbey. So this is really big. I think the fans are really going to love this, and uh, it should be. Uh, this is selling a lot of pre-sale tickets. I've heard that. And uh, I think it's going to do really well. It's just a fun group. Oh, yeah. We, love oh, yeah. we love it. All right, so the, the next one, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, we've been waiting for this one, Drew. Yeah, Tom Hanks is Mr. Mm -hmm. Rogers. Have you seen the uh, the trailers for this? Yes. Oh, yeah. One little detail I picked up on, after he does the little song and walks in, you know, recreates that opening moment, uh, Hanks says, hello, neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Oh, <laughs> and I'm, hearing a, I'm yeah. hearing a little bit of Forrest Gump in there, just a little ah! bit. <laughs> this is going to be a hard role, I think, oh, to master, don't of you think? Yeah. If there's but, anyone that can do it, it would be him. Well, Fred Rogers' widow thought that uh, the Tom was you know, mm -hmm. the, the perfect choice yeah, for him. Yeah. You know? And I agree with that. But yeah. so, you're so astute that you can't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen for it, but it's, it's, it's slight, but it's in there. Of course, it's was shot in Pittsburgh, so that's mm -hmm. exciting. And, uh, you know, it, I think it's going to be a great movie, and what a tribute to Fred Rogers. Uh, again, this movie was dedicated to Jim uh, Emswiller. Uh, who uh, died tragically when they were making this Aww. movie. The movie's dedicated to him. And also, uh, the movie Where'd You Go Better, Bernadette, also dedicated to Jim. He worked on that wow. movie as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember hearing about him yeah. when he passed yeah. away. Yeah. So th in this movie, where, Where'd You Go Bernadette, also looks like fun. Uh -huh. And it's in theaters now, right? Uh, it is, as a matter of fact. Kate okay. Blanchett. Uh, oh, I love her. Two-time Oscar winner. You know, I actually talked to her for a couple of minutes years ago. In 2010, she had just done the movie Robin Hood. Uh -huh. And she was uh, Marion in that movie. And they set up this phone call to London and so I'm sitting a little nervous you know and then this voice came on hello Drew <laughs> <laughs> completely wrecked me. you're like, like I can die oh, yeah. Happy man now. <laughs> yeah I, I just like her work so much and I'm such a big fan uh, so that's part of the hook here the other one is Richard Linklater uh, the director who did movies like uh, Dazed and Confused Waking Life and uh, uh, boyhood you know he also was here in Pittsburgh a couple years ago doing a movie called Last Flag Flying Okay. So, but I really like his work. So when the two of them were going to be together, I thought, wow, this could be really great. Also based on a runaway bestseller mm -hmm. um, about a, a, an architectural genius who kind of falls off the radar for 20 mm. years, trying to work her way back and make some, uh, some really kind of erratic choices that are kind of putting her daughter and husband through a lot. Was that Kristen Wiig that I saw, or was that not? Yes, Kristen? Was yes. it? Oh, so, yep. interesting. Yeah, so uh, uh, this one, again, getting kind of mixed reviews. I, to okay. me, it's still worth seeing. The commercials okay. look fun. Yeah. It looks like she's hmm. a little yeah. a, a character, a real character. <laughs> Set in yeah. Seattle, but shot here in Pittsburgh. Very cool. Oh, We've cool. doubled for Seattle. I love it. Yeah, That's yeah. accurate. Kind of, well, <laughs> as much as it's raining. Sort of in sister spring, movie yeah. cities. Yeah, 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 for real. All right, Very so cool. the, the next one is Ready or Not. Yeah, this is a comedy horror mystery 
Uh, the story here is an unsuspecting bride uh, on her wedding night. Uh, oh. Oh, I do that know could this be a comedy movie. horror. Okay, yeah, has to draw a card. They have to play a game. So mm -hmm. she innocently draws a card. It's hide and seek. Mm -hmm. And the, what she doesn't know is that this takes place all night at this mansion. It sounds like a lot of fun, except it's a lethal you know, yeah. game. They're trying to kill her. And she has to oh survive God. until daybreak in order to, you know, to, to come away with her life. I don't know if I uh, can handle that one. It's going <laughs> to make me nervous. <laughs> talking stuff. about it. <laughs> It's somewhere between Agatha Christie and okay. Rosemary's Baby. I don't want to give away too much, okay. but yeah, but it's, it's getting comedy horror, yeah. which is hard to walk that line. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. It is absolutely. Uh, it's getting a lot of good press, and mm. as they used to say in the old days, it's a good, old-fashioned grade B horror flick. Uh, it, it's entertaining. It's, it is rated R. It's very, very gory. Okay. okay. All right. uh. And Good Boys. Yes. Uh, also with, rated R. Yes. Uh, 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 Jacob Tremblay. You might remember mm. him from the movie Room. He was a little boy in the movie Room with uh, uh, Brie Larson. Oh, in oh we're playing Brie Larson. Now <laughs> yes. we know. He won the Critics' <laughs> Choice Award for Best Young Actor, a, a really talented kid. So now this is the follow-up movie. It's about three sixth-grade boys. Um, let me just, I'm going to read the, uh, the, the R rating and, and what they said. This is interesting. Uh, it's rated, again, R. Uh, strong, crude sexual content, drug and alcohol material, and language throughout. This is the line. All involving tweens. That's actually oh in the rating. That's gosh. a first. Oh. So it's, it's tween boys. Mm. It's a movie about tweens. The tweens mm. can't go to see because right. they need a parent or guardian to go with them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's kind of strange. It seems misguided. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Seth Rogen was involved in this one. Well, Charlie Hill, the producer. So you kind of know what <laughs> okay. this is going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting. Yeah. It's your fantasy so, so. middle school world. <laughs> kind of a mix, you know, but uh, uh, again, parts of it are very funny, but you have to be ready for the fact that this is an R-rated hmm. comedy. Yeah. Okay. Be All right. Well, time has flown by yes, again. Yes, it always does. But we love it when you're here, Drew, because you educate us. Well, so <laughs> thank, thank you. you for being here. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank now you. we want to go to the movie. I know. <laughs> With our milkshake. All know, three yes, of us have shakes <laughs> All right. Drew Mignot, our PTL movie reviewer and member of the Broadcast Film Critics Association. Well, coming up next, it's a beautiful day outside. A great day to be out walking with our PTL puppy, Penguin. Selena is with Penguin making new friends in Point State Park. He's like a celebrity, let me tell <laughs> you. So cute. We're going to check in with them coming up. Plus, with the Labor Day weekend starting, we take a little quiz to see how up you are on your holiday knowledge. From parades to parties, there's some fun trivia ahead.